Okay, if many of you haven't ever done a uh, killer dowel pen and a, uh, a Cummins, I'm going to do a uh, small demonstration on that. Probably won't go into a whole lot of details on it, but uh, I will show you some of the stuff that I'm going to go through. I got a uh, 99 uh, 24 valve that we're going to uh, go in there and check the dowel pen and make sure it's got the timing cover off. Here, all we had to do is remove the fan shroud and fan. As you can see here, just by taking this off, you don't actually have to remove the uh, fan uh, clutch or any of that. Just take this off and then take your shroud off, fan shroud, crankshaft dampener. And as you can see here, there is the killer dowel pin right in there. But as you can see, it has not moved or anything, it is completely inside there. Okay, so. What we found out on the, uh, the timing case on the uh, front housing is the version of case that I actually have on the, on the engine here is, um, has been corrected by Cummins. Uh, Cummins continued to use the 12 valve, 12 valve case on the 24 valves until they ran out of parts. Uh, Cummins has stated that there's a, a fix for the 24 valves that they corrected so that way the 12 valve, so that way the uh, 24 valve engines would, would be corrected because of the, new, the change in the actual timing case itself. So I actually inspected further the actual case in the dowel pin hole and it is corrected. Um, there's actually a lip in the actual dowel pin hole itself where the KDP uh, pin is located. So therefore the pin cannot back out. So um, in this instance, I got lucky. I think, you know, most of those cases, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't, you know, if any of you have any newer ones like, say, um, 2001, 2002 models that have ever had this problem, then I, I can see there might be an issue where they either still had some leftover stock that they were using from the old 12 valve motors or whatever, but there was a transition period from the 12 valve to the 24 valve engine that they continued to use the same timing case and stuff. Um, I was talking about the uh, fix that they did later on when they changed the case. <clears throat> Here, uh, as you will see, I'll demonstrate. Let's see. With this, there's a little notch in here that as you can see here there's a lip that they put in here that allows the dowel pin not to come out so there's no way for that pin to come sliding out like they used to because that used to not be there on the pr prior cases and everything it's kind of tapered inward or a little bit towards the end which prevents the pin from coming out. As you can see there. So there is a lip in there that they, they corrected that issue with. So that's, that's the difference I'm talking about right there.